A new class of cadets arriving this week at the Coast Guard Academy in New London. This comes as the NAACP is accusing the school of racial bias. News 8's Tina Detail spoke to the Academy about those claims. The incoming class of cadets experiencing baptism by fire amid sweltering temperatures. Day one of Swab Summer, an intense seven weeks designed to transform civilian students into military members. Ready for the challenges of becoming a Coast Guard officer. One of the 12 from Connecticut thinks about his grandfather, who was a staff sergeant in the Air Force and later went to work at the academy. When I was younger, uh, he was the only one that I'd let hold me. <laughs> so in a way, I feel like he's still holding me like through here, you know. So it's it's really uh, sentimental and it goes uh, deep for me. Niles Harrell will learn to live by the cadets' core values. Honor, respect, and devotion to duty. That is what these soon to be cadets live by. And some want to make sure that respect part is what all experience. I expect each and every cadet, as well as our staff, to treat each other with the utmost respect in a fair, professional, and dignified manner at all times. That is what Captain Rick Wester told the swabs and their parents. He says respect is on what everything else will be built. But recently, the NAACP said there is racial bias on the New London campus, and the Confederate flag has been used to intimidate cadets of color. Every case we do uh, take very seriously. It was 29 years ago today Captain Wester reported in at the academy, and since then he says there are a lot more resources for cadets who have become more diverse. Of the 292 in the incoming class, 40% are female and 36% are underrepresented minorities. The academy now has an office of inclusion and diversity, but NAACP members say if the system was working, cadets wouldn't be complaining to them. If anyone doesn't feel comfortable filing a report, they can always come to me. And I am always available, and I will personally ensure that we will, we will appropriately address their concerns. Captain Wester begins his tenure as the Commandant of Cadets with that pledge of respect in New London. That's the way we do it here. Tina Detell, News 8.